Welcome back to Get Golfers Moving. These sessions are all about moving you away from the desk and getting you some kind of movement, some kind of exercise that's going to improve your life, improve your body, and improve your golf. Well done. First of all, just even getting this video started, you're already on the right track. And a step closer to improving all of the areas that we're looking to improve with these videos. As always, with these videos, you're only going to need one of two things either a mat, like one I'm here laying down, sat down somewhere comfortable. Uh, or a golf club, but we're not going to need a golf club for today's session. So all you're going to need is somewhere comfortable to lay or sit down. I'm going to start you on your backs, work through some movements to get you onto your knees, and then finally end this session where I believe we should spend most of our day, which is in a standing position. So to start the session, let's come down onto our backs and start, as always, with a little bit of breathing. So just as you come down onto your back, just want to place your hands onto your stomach. All you want to do is just control your breath, just to start to think about breathing from a little bit deeper within the stomach. So quite often when we're sat at a desk or sat down for long periods, we end up breathing from our chest. So we're trying to change that to make sure that we're breathing from deep within the stomach. And sometimes just becoming a little bit more conscious of this and a little bit more aware is enough for us to change how we're feeling, change our mood, change our stress levels, also help with our recovery and productivity and so many other factors come from just where we're taking our breath from. So just deep within the belly. <sighs> Place our hands here just so we can feel this breath and make sure we're breathing from deep within here. <sighs> Good work. And just as you're keeping that breathing, what I want you to do, just suck both feet a little bit closer up towards your bum. Make sure we've got a full kind of foot planted on the ground. So I really want to heel and toes on the ground or on the mat. And what we're going to do from here is place hands up ahead of you. So hands up to the sky. And all we're going to do is push the feet into the ground to lift the hips up. So I'm lifting my hips up, squeezing my bum, squeezing my glutes as hard as I can. Just squeeze for three, two, one, and slowly release back down. As soon as I touch back down to the mat, I come back up to that start position, squeezing the glutes as hard as I can. Squeeze for three, two, one, and release. Just a few more repetitions here. So what we often find is when we're sat down for long periods as well, our glutes just get kind of hot and flat. Just not a good way to, well, one for good back and hip health, but also for, for golf and trying to then use these muscles to swing the golf club. We find that when we need them, they're not there to help us. So we're just trying to get a little bit of activation here, improve the quality and kind of a activation of these areas. Squeeze, now big squeeze, drop back down. What we can also do here by working on this backside and activate this backside, we'd also get a nice stretch and release on the front side as well. Let's just do a few more here, all the way back down, all the way back up and squeeze. And the last one here, down, push into the ground, and squeeze up. Good work. Just roll onto your side for me now. So I'm going to come this way and face you guys. So I'm now laying on my right side. And all I'm going to do is just bring my knees up. So I've got a slight bend in my hip and around a 90 degree bend in my knee. So I'm going to place one hand down on me for comfort, one hand behind my head for comfort. I'm just worrying about the hip area for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my ankles together, so my ankle and feet together. And I'm just going to just move from this hip. And as I do that, I'm just going to try and open up this knee. So I'm trying to keep over with my shoulders, really trying to just get this movement from this left hip. So keeping the feet together, I'm just opening up my knees. And I can feel this coming into now the back of my hip. And don't worry if it feels a little bit tight. I'm thinking more about the movement, I'm trying to activate and again, just really squeeze the bum glute muscles. So you kind of really get it through and squeeze that. This often gets really, really tight if we're spending a lot of time sat down. This kind of rotational movement is really key again for the golf swing. So just open up from here, good, let's just do a few more this side. Open up, good work. Two more here. And the last one. Great work, let's spill to the other side, let's do the other side. I'm just gonna mind my microphone. So down on this side now, again, we're just laying onto our left side now. Feet stay together, wherever it's comfortable for the hands, and we just think about opening up these knees. So kind of feet stay planted and we just open it up, almost like opening a book. 
Just open up from the knees. Really trying to squeeze the glutes at the back here as we lift. Good work. If this feels uncomfortable, don't worry, just go to a comfortable range for you. So two more here. Nice work. Now we can stay this side and we're going to sweep back over. But all we need to do is come now onto your elbow. So we're just lifting this up a little bit more. Legs stay in the same position. But now what we're going to do is we're going to lift and bring hip closer to you. So all we're going to do is push into the ground. I'm going to push my elbow into the ground, my feet into the ground. And as I do that, I'm just going to lift up and push my hips forward. I'm going to come back down. So you feel like now we're going to have to work really hard to push forward. Squeeze the glutes as hard as you can. And back down. So I'm kind of moving this way with my hips. So I'm pushing into the ground with my elbow. Boom. Lifting up, squeezing both bum cheeks. And back down. In, squeeze. Back down. Good work. Let's do two more this side. In, squeeze. And last one here. In. And squeeze. Great. Well, let's do the other side. So the movement we're after is almost like a coming forward with the hips. So we're kind of humping forward this way, squeezing both bum cheeks as we do that. So let's place the other elbow down on the ground. Feet in the same position they were for the previous movement. Feel free to have your hand wherever it's comfortable. And we're thinking about pushing into the mat and lifting the hips up and squeezing. A few more here. Great work. It's a great movement for maintaining back health any kind of lower back pain. It's gonna be re eased off with this movement as well. Just squeezing it in. Just do two more this side. And last one here. Squeeze in, great work. Now come all the way around now. So you've got knees and hands down on the mat. Now from here what we're gonna do is work a little bit on some spinal flossing, so it's been great for our back health. But also we're gonna carry on working on these positions of activating these glute muscles. Now from this position, I really want you to first of all be aware of your posture. I don't want you to be really rounded over one way or really rounded the other, so nice and neutral with the spine. And all you're gonna do is we're gonna lift one hand out and the opposite leg out. So I'm just gonna raise my right hand out, and as I raise my right hand out and away from me, I'm thinking of pushing my left heel as far back as I can. The idea here is getting as much separation between left heel and right palm, so really trying to reach forward. We're not worried about coming up here, we're trying to reach out. That's the key here, reach out and long. Come back to the start position and alternate to the other side. So left palm now, right heel. Really be nice and tall, nice and reach really long. And swap to the other side. And as we do this, we're really trying to keep our hips and shoulders nicely aligned as well. It's not rocking from side to side. It's a nice, slow, controlled movement. So we're waking up all of the muscles here, our glutes and all the way through our spine. Good work. Doing great, just a few more here. Reach nice and long. One more this side. Big, strong reach. Great work, come all the way up now guys into a standing position. Imagine moving you all the way up to standing. And from here, what we're gonna do with feet kind of together, come to the top of the mat if you need to, a little bit more room. You can keep a nice tall posture. I'm just gonna take one foot back, touch, knee touch down. As soon as the knee touches down onto the mat, we give both glutes a big squeeze and stand back up to the start position. Alternate to the other side. Left leg now comes back, big step down, stand back up and just alternate through these. Right leg back, touch down, nice tall upright posture. Then lift back up, just alternate left leg to right leg. A few more on each side here. Doing great, just really trying to make sure you're maintaining good breathing, good balance, good posture all the way through. One more each side here. The last one. Great work. And I'm just going to turn and face you guys now. All I want you to do is feet around hip width apart, slight bend of the knee, and just let yourself become very, very heavy with the upper body. 
It's a great way to just release any tension across the lower part of the back and in the hips, and then just let yourself sway and shift from side to side. Just swaying and shifting. Last deep breaths. And then slowly, slowly, you can just bring yourself all the way up into a standing position. And from here, just roll your shoulders back and over. Two more with the shoulders, roll the shoulders all the way up, round and back. And last one here, shoulders all the way up, round and back. And just like that guys, freed up our body, freed up our mind. You're gonna finish the rest of your day if you're gonna go and play some golf, you're ready. If you've got more work to be done at the desk, you're gonna feel better, feeling more productive. Or if it's the last thing you're doing for the day, you're gonna sleep a lot better as well. Fantastic work and well done for finding five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day just to service your own body. See you on the next video.